So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology. Welcome to my Apple Watch Series 7, two months later. Now in this episode, what I wanna do is share with you what I've experienced, how this watch has been, and if it was worth purchasing after a little bit more of a long-term use case. Now this watch right here, the Apple Watch Series 7, has been somewhat of a difficult purchase for some people as if you look, a lot of the configurations are definitely, you're two, three weeks out on wait times. And if you wanna pick it up, they're only gonna have a certain amount at the store. So definitely the supply chain issues this year have definitely caused it to be a little more difficult to swing one of these, especially if you just wanna go get it that same day. That usually doesn't happen. Although I got lucky and was able to snag one on pre-order. So definitely you're gonna wanna do pre-orders every time these things come out because they're definitely becoming much more popular and everybody seems to want an Apple Watch these days, even though years ago a lot would say, oh, nobody's gonna ever want that watch. Yeah, well, that seems to not be the case these days, whereas I see so many people wearing Apple Watches. Now I went with the Nike 45 millimeter. This is the black or the midnight black edition. So definitely, it's not fully black, but it's like a midnight color, it's a dark, dark color, so definitely enjoy this. It's a little more stealthy, and honestly, I like it because I don't want a watch to be very bright and zingy. Last year, I went with the red, and I didn't I didn't really enjoy how distracting it was, the color, so I like it to be a little bit more minimalistic, less uh, distracting. I don't want my wrist to be super distracting, so I like this color. And for a little bit of context, I have been using the Apple Watch Series 7 every day since it launched, even if I switched to an Android phone, I would just leave it connected to my home Wi-Fi network. I just love the software in here. I love how this watch works, and I think it's the closest thing to an actual phone on your wrist. It really is. Like, there's so many apps on here that are super usable, and it's super smooth, just like the iPhone. So I just enjoy the heck out of this watch right here. It works better than pretty much all the smartwatches I have tried with the Galaxy Watch 4 being the closest in my opinion. All right, so let's discuss the display because the display on the Apple Watch Series 7 is one of the big things. It got a little bit larger here and it kind of fills out the body a bit better than before. Now, this just makes everything a little bit easier to click when you are on the Apple Watch Series 7. So just having that 1.9 inch Retina LTPO display really helps out quite a bit. So just be able to click things when you are on the watch. Now, that's gonna be more noticeable if you have something like a Series 3. If you have a Series 6, it's not that much better, but definitely I just enjoy having a larger display. I actually would prefer if it was even larger, but some people will say, well, it's a watch. How large do you want it to get? Hey, I like a lot of screen space when I am doing smart functionality right here within the Apple Watch. So definitely enjoy that. I also gotta say that it does get very bright when you are outdoors, it can, it can hit a, a peak brightness of 1000 nits. So definitely I'm not too concerned about brightness. It always knows what brightness level to be at when I am outdoors. So enjoy that about the Series 7 two months later. I still really appreciate that. A couple other things I wanna talk about is the band actually doesn't give me any irritations on the skin, anything like that with this Nike band. Now, I'm not sure if everyone else can agree with whatever band they went with. Let me know if you have a certain band that is irritating your skin and which band it is, because I would like to avoid that. I do have pretty sensitive skin. And this band right here definitely is one that doesn't uh, give me that problem. It might also be because you have to take this watch off every night due to the battery life. And that leads me into talking about that battery life right there. And the battery life on here for me, because I do actually use a lot of the fitness features and stuff daily, I charge this just about daily. Now you could actually extend it to two days, but I don't push it that far because again, I am draining more battery than I think the average user because I am using this more for than just a clock. I definitely use a lot of the features in here. And I still appreciate the features that were brought from series six on the series seven. It just carries over here to this watch and that is the blood oxygen sensor as well. And sometimes, you know, this thing is kind of wonky though. Like it'll say like a low, oxygen reading and then I could test it a minute later and it'll say 100%. So I'm not sure how accurate this really is, you know, and it depends on the time of the day and whatever, but it could say like a really low reading, like 94%, and then a minute later it'll be like 97 and then it'll be like 100% out of nowhere. So really it's just, I'm not sure how accurate it is, but I still like using it. And then over here, 
the heart rate really quickly on this watch. Definitely, it's pretty fast. I've actually seen some smart watches with faster heart rate monitors, but this thing right here definitely does give a pretty accurate reading. I, I do think this is one of the more accurate sensors on a watch to this day. So, you know, I, I tested it out with some other watches. They, they pretty much seem the same. So Apple Watch Series 7 is pretty reliable on the heart rate. I also do like the ECG feature that was brought from Series 4. That's been out for quite some time. Let's stop turning off Apple Watch, please. Let's go over here to the ECG feature right here. So you can test to see if you have anything going on electrically. Now, luckily I don't. So every time I do this, I get a sinus rhythm on here. But if you have something going on, this could be a potentially life-saving feature if you do take into account, you know, what it says. Like if it says something like, oh, you, you might have AFib, you might wanna go get that checked out. It could potentially save your life. So definitely a really awesome feature. I'm still waiting for some things like maybe blood sugar monitoring, maybe blood pressure. That could be a really good addition if they could figure out a way to give you some kind of sensor or some kind of ability to check that through the watch, that's gonna be incredibly difficult and complex. But if they could find some type of way to give you some type of reading, even if it's not 100%, it would still be a nice to get some kind of estimation of something like that. Now, I also appreciate this always on display. It's definitely something that, you know, they brought over from the prior Apple Watch Series 5 and then the 6 had it, but just having the always on display, I don't always have this triggered. But there's times when you just need it on. You just need the clock to stay on and then you go into settings and then you just go ahead and go to display here and you could just turn that on whenever you want and turn it off. So right here, always on right here. So definitely pretty cool. You can also show notifications and stuff like that on the always on display. Pretty cool there. And in terms of the overall software, you do have watchOS 8.3, which brings access to the voice plan, some privacy reports and stuff like that. But I just love the software on here. And the reason why is because it just feels so much like a phone. It's the closest thing to an actual, well, it's not even close. It is an actual smartwatch, whereas some watches will feel just like fitness trackers. This is a full blown smartwatch with full blown watch apps on it. So a lot of apps are being developed for it. You can even access the app store on here as well. And you could download a ton for this watch. Now you could do so on uh, Wear OS watches as well but not quite at this level. So definitely I gotta say, the Apple Watch is the best of the best when it comes to smart watches. And I think that's regardless if you're an Android fan or an Apple fan, you just gotta admit this watch is just crushing it when it comes to the overall software. It really is strong and it's one of the main reasons I think people still like using this and picking it up every year because it's getting better. Plus you have a lot of app access. I also like the mindfulness feature as well. It does allow you to taking some quick breaths. I mean, you could do this on your own. It's not like you need this product to do this, but this can give you a reminder to do it. And that's something that's crucial because a lot of times you'll forget to take a deep breath and you'll be running through your life, having anxiety and you know, and forgetting to just take a deep breath. And this can, you could set it up in the watch OS app over here, the watch app on the iPhone. You could set it up in notifications for this device. And that, that can definitely help you out if you wanna go ahead and remember to be more mindful. You can add reminders right there. So this is a great application for this watch as well. All right, so this feature right here has been pretty dope for the Apple Watch Series 7. It is the larger keyboard that we haven't seen on previous Apple Watches. And the reason why is because before you would have to scribble every time and now it's pretty easy to type on here. Very easy actually. It actually has very good autocorrect as well, similar to what you'll find on the iPhone. So I do find this to be one of my favorite new things of the Apple Watch Series 7, and I think you will too. It's actually a decent reason to upgrade uh, if you wanna be able to type a little bit quicker and more efficient on the watch. The performance on here has actually been very good as well. It's actually basically perfect. There's no lag whatsoever, no matter which application you use. Now, granted, you will get a little bit of load time sometimes if you don't have good data connection, you might actually experience a little bit of loading on something like the App Store, like that right there. But other than that, you know, it's essentially perfect. There's really no delay. So if you're coming from an Apple Watch that has any type of slowdown or delay or just feels a little bit laggy or slow, this one is gonna be a major update for you as well. I just noticed how snappy the performance is. It really feels just like an iPhone when it comes to the performance. So that's a really good thing as well. Also, the speaker, not so much louder than other Apple Watches. I could hear people okay, 
you know, when I am trying to talk to them through the Apple Watch, just like other Apple Watches, but it's not mind blowing. You can't put a massively loud speaker on any watch of this size compared to like an iPhone, but it does get the job done overall. So in conclusion, the Apple Watch Series 7, two months later, with the combination of very good software updates, stuff like that, you basically have the best smartwatch out there. Not only that, this watch right here does give you a lot of different customizable bands and stuff like that. There's a ton of accessories on the market for it. And while this isn't the most customizable watch out there, there are some watches that have way more faces than the Apple Watch, you know, Series 7. This thing has probably the best software when it comes to, you know, support, refinement, stuff like that. And it's a great addition to the iPhone, which a lot of people have chosen as their primary smartphone. I gotta say, after two months, I think I've, I've really enjoyed it. And while there are some watches that might sway me away, like when the Pixel Watch comes out, I wanna see what that looks like. For now, this is really probably unbeatable. And you could see why it's kind of difficult to get, you know, depending on the model you're going for, you could be waiting a little bit of time. And that could be just because of the sp supply chain issues this year. But overall, I gotta say, very good and very pleased with it overall. I don't really have a ton of complaints. Some people say they wanna see a round watch. I would like to see a rugged version of this. That would be nice, a rugged Apple watch for those people who are just bumping it around all the time. But for now, I'm gonna use my G-Shock type case bumpers right here to go ahead for that bumping and stuff on the Series 7. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click the like button for me. If you have an Apple Watch Series 7 and you got some stuff to share with us, go ahead and share it below. Or if you have an older Apple Watch and you have some questions, you could drop them in the comments as well. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here, be sure to be well and peace.